Hi Internet! Uh, just a quickie video because I wanted to originally do an unboxing but I got too eager beaver. So this is um, the Bilofax Pocket Holborn in black. Um, I decided to try a, a pocket size again and I'd narrowed it down to a choice of three and while I was looking them up to see how other people were using them, what the pocket situation was. Um, I realized there was an incredible lack of information on the pocket size Holborn. Personal Holborns, plenty of detail on the pockets <laughs> that they have, but not on the actual pocket size. So, had I known, seen more, I would have known that, oh, it's got a full wallet size pocket. For some reason, when they said full length pocket, I was expecting it to be on the exterior. Uh, like, the, I believe their personal size has a pocket on the outside. But it doesn't, it has a full wallet pocket. It's also really, really soft. Really, really floppy, I love this. Floppier than my pocket molding was. Um, I haven't moved into it yet because they once again forgot to give me the second half of 2013, even though you're, they're supposed to ship with them. Didn't get it again. Um, and, but I did put my credit cards in just to sort of give you a rough idea. I also haven't had my inserts shipped because I ordered um, extra card holders and whatnot. But this just gives you a rough idea of what it holds pocket wise, not my actual setup. So because again, there really is not much out there for the pocket Holborn. So there is, on the left-hand side, there's a half pocket that goes to here. Lovely and lined. This pocket, look how soft that is, that's ridiculous. This pocket goes all the way to the edge. Again, fully lined. Uh, I already showed you surprise wallet pocket. On the back, there's another full pocket to the end, all the way to the elasticized pen loop. Another pocket here that goes to the seam. It's the nice quality. And then this one actually has on the inside, I'm trying to show you in this light, it has a full length zip section. It's a bit fiddly, but. So if you needed to keep change or anything, that would be perfect for that. I don't carry cash, so <laughs> neither the wallet section nor the zip section are really sort of relevant to my personal interests, but. So, and nothing on the back. So it's, it's a really nice little binder. Um, I'm not sure how I'm actually going to get on going from a, going to a pocket size, but you know, for 40 bucks, it was worth the experiment. Um, compared to personal size, Give you a rough idea of what's going on there, size-wise. Um, I mean, I'm using my compact Regency, which I just love to pieces. Um, I was hoping that the Holborn would replace it as my wallet come organizer, but I'm not. I'm not sure, and until I can actually move into it and have, until I print off some inserts or something, I'm not really going to know there that's compared to the compact size so I'm definitely slowly but surely downgrading in size for some reason I thought this had bigger rings I'm not sure what size rings it has actually but there you go so the Holborn comes with the um, well, at least from Filofax USA comes with the uh, labeled five tab diary notes information financial and address and then the A to Z two letters per tab. So, a bit there. So if you were interested in the Holborn and you'd looked it up online and you couldn't find anything, hopefully this helps you. It's it's a gorgeous binder for 40 bucks right now at the uh, Filofax USA website. You cannot go wrong. It's, it's squishy and it's delightful. Okay, bye.